Hey, how's it going everybody? So today I'm doing a review video for Inkbird's new IBT 26 sg It's the world's first 5G barbecue thermometer. That's brilliant. Or should I say brilliant? Unbelievable? <laughs> <laughs> I got a ton of them guys, it's gonna be a long video. But all bad puns aside, I'm excited to start using this thing. Now during the video, I'm gonna point out some things I really like. Also stay until the end and find out if this thermometer meets my expectations. Full disclosure, they did send me this thermometer for me to review. I want to keep it 100% honest with you. I've been very hesitant to review products, but this one looks like a good one. And now let's probe our way through a quick unboxing. Let's cut the stickers and open up the box. These are the instructions, and there's the thermometer. Now this box here seems to be packed with the rest of the goodies, so let's take them out. It has two great holders, four probes, and a charging cable. Now I really dig that it came with two of these holders because I could imagine a world where I might misplace one of them, and then I have to use other means to hold my probe. And don't ask me how I know this. Now this thermometer works great as is, but to really its power, make sure you download the app. You can use the code in the box, and you could also find it in the instructions. You'll first want to set up an account. Now, since I've downloaded and set up my account, I should just be able to open it. Oh wait, there's an update. Let me quickly do that. I downloaded this app a few days ago, so it's always a great sign when companies keep their app updated. Good job, Inkbird. I'll be honest, the instructions do a really brilliant job at explaining each of the steps. You really don't need me. No wait, you do need me. Don't click off. <laughs> but seriously, I highly suggest you take a look at the instructions. But if you already misplaced them already, bad grill master, bad. Here's a quick overview. Once you have this updated, let's click on open app. Now, if you don't have an account like I do, be sure to register an account before the next step. Hit on the plus sign to add your device. Once we see the IBS 26S, let's click on it. And then turn on the device. Be sure to hold the button for like two seconds. Let's set up the Bluetooth first. If your Bluetooth on your phone is turned on already, click on the next step. Once it finds your phone, you'll want to hit the power button again to complete the Bluetooth pairing. And then sign into the Wi-Fi. Yep, it has both Bluetooth 5.1 and 5G Wi-Fi. It's a more reliable connection with less dropouts. And you can take a trip to the store and still monitor your food. Let's plug in the probes. My last thermometer came with two probes, so I can imagine how more useful having four probes will be. For me, four seems to be a nice sweet spot. And in fact, when I'm not cooking, I'm gonna start probing all kinds of stuff around the house. Like this banana, or this hot sauce. Pfft, this hot sauce isn't that hot. And my coffee. Oh damn, coffee's getting cold. Or this dog. Okay, I'm joking about the dog. Don't probe your pets, guys. Pet them instead. This app will be good to have though. You can change a lot of the settings. I changed the Celsius to Fahrenheit and the screen brightness. Now speaking of the screen, it's a very nice screen. It looks nice and sharp. Now the times I use it, I didn't have any trouble reading it. So that's a very good sign. For these steaks, I used four probes. I did a reverse sear on these, so the first step was to smoke them until they reached an internal temperature of 110 degrees. It doesn't look like they has a reverse sear mode on here, but no problem. It's easy enough to set up in the app. Easy peasy. With the app, it allows you to set up a manual temperature and it allows you to set up an alarm. I'll set it to 110 degrees. I love that the app is very intuitive. So good job, Inkbird, on that user interface. You get a gold star. Nice job, Inkbird. When the steaks reach 90 degrees, you'll want to start up a half a chimney of charcoal. And let's prepare for the second part of the cook. Now that the steaks reach 110 degrees, it's time for the second part of the cook. Pour in your hot charcoal and get this grill nice and hot. It's alive, it's alive. Once it's super hot, time to sear the heck out of these steaks. Be sure to remove the steaks once they reach a nice medium rare, 125 to 130, and boom. Admire the sear for a bit. Let's remove, let's rest, and let's slice. Mm -mm -mm, look at that perfect medium rare. Now steaks aren't your thing, how about some chicken? Let's get this grill in roasting mode, and for this cook, we don't need all four probes. Let's use three, first to probe the breast meat. The breast is the most important thing to keep track of, but I'm probing the thigh as well. I'm also throwing a third probe to monitor ambient temperature. Another cool thing about this thermometer is that it has a built-in kickstand. 
Want something more secure? No worries. It's also got a built-in magnetic back. Let's set up the chicken cook. All right, let's plug in the rest of our probes. Since the first probe is temping the breast, I'll set the first probe to 165 degrees. Now for the thigh probe, I'll set a manual temperature of 180. This will also help me demonstrate a very key feature in the app, and that is it has real-time monitoring and it stores your data for up to a month, so you can check your past cooks. And this is a great way for people to learn how to grill because you can learn a lot from those past mistakes and it gives you some good data. If you're a data geek, this thermometer is right for you. You can also set timers, which for me is great because when you know cooking something like brisket and I want to spritz every 30 minutes or so, so this way I don't forget. Chicken or steak is still not your thing. But lucky for you, Inkbird has equipped this thermometer with 23 other presets. But also remember, you have the ability to create your own presets. Just in case the 23 choices are given to you, aren't good enough for you. You are so needy. Anyways, back to the cook. About halfway through the cook, I'm gonna rotate the chicken for more even cooking. Once it's rotated, let's cover and get back to cooking. A quick little check on the temperatures and the thigh is cooking a little faster than the breast. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the thigh probe since it's already safe to eat, but we're still waiting on the breast. Now, do you hear that sound? That means our chicken is done. Okay, the chicken is done and it looks like the chicken is perfectly cooked. A perfectly cooked yard bird thanks to Inkbird. Now, what's my overall impression? I'm impressed. I love the technology builds into this thermometer. So if you're in the market for one, be sure to check them out. Visit the Inkbird website and learn more about the company and their products. I'll link a link down in the description. If not, I appreciate you staying until the end. Until the next one, keep on grilling and barbecuing. Check you out later.